Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. We're talking the battle of the boxes, streaming boxes, that is, to see what's been happening with streaming services, especially after Apple's historic win at the Oscars over the weekend. For more on that, let's bring in our entertainment reporter, Yahoo Finance's Alexandra Canal, with more. Ali, what can you tell us? Hi, Rochelle. Well, Apple might have won big at the Oscars, but Netflix has Bridgerton, and that series is doing so well. It debuted on Friday, and it just won weekend. It has climbed its way to the very top of Netflix's competitive top 10 list. According to the company's latest viewing report, subscribers watched more than 193 million hours of the series within its first three days on the platform. We really shouldn't be surprised, though, since Bridgerton season one remains the second most most watched show in Netflix's history, right behind Squid Game, with a total of 82 million accounts reported to have seen at least a portion of the show within its first four weeks, with 625 million hours watched. Now, caveat there is that Netflix counts a viewer as someone who watches at least two minutes of a piece of content. But judging off the numbers that we already got from Bridgerton season two, I think there's a good shot that this new season could surpass its predecessor. And I also got some social media data that shows that the chatter around Bridgerton season two has already been skyrocketing. According to data from analytics company Hootsuite, total online mentions related to Bridgerton season one, which debuted December 25th, 2020, totaled more than 261,000 between November 2nd and December 28th of that same year. But if you flash forward to today, you'll see that mentions for season two totaled more than 830,000 between February 14th and March 28th, 2020. And that represents a 218% increase compared to season one. So incredibly high social media engagement. And I think people are just going to continue to watch this over time. And obviously we're already seeing those sky high numbers trickle in. And as you mentioned, there was already a high bar from the first season, uh, who, which at the time was was their highest uh, the highest rated show. But Shonda Rhimes, the producer of Bridgerton, Netflix paid her top dollar to steal her away from ABC. It does seem to be worth it, though, as Bridgerton is not only is not the only breakout hit from Miss Rhimes, right? No, and I'm calling this the Shonda Rhimes effect because that woman, she knows how to create and produce some super smash hits. In addition to Bridgerton, she's also the brains behind Inventing Anna. That's the miniseries based on the life of con artist Anna Delvey. That has remained on Netflix's top 10 list for seven weeks now since its meteoric rise back in February. You mentioned ABC, and for those of you that don't know, Shonda Rhimes is the mastermind behind Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, how to get, get away with murder among many other top TV shows. So in order to lure her to the streaming side of the business, Netflix had to give her a good deal. So back in 2017, Shonda Rhimes signed a reported $100 million five-year deal. And then this past I, Rhyme signed a deal extension that will keep her on board for another five years. She reportedly scored a significant raise of $150 million, and that excludes bonuses. She has bonuses that could balloon that deal value up to $400 million. And this is something that Netflix has prided itself on. The platform spent more than $17 billion on content production in 2021. They're willing to go there with these giant deals. Deals. And it's paid off because in addition to Rhymes, they have other long-term contracts with other top creators like the Duffer Brothers who are behind Stranger Things and Ryan Murphy. So, you know, we will have more content coming out and more seasons for Bridgerton because it was renewed for seasons three and seasons four, which Rochelle, I know that you are very, very happy about because you've already been season two twice, which I think is incredibly impressive. <laughs> Absolutely. Al <laughs> Ali, going to jump in here. Brad here. Bridgerton fan as well. And I couldn't stay away from the conversation. Naturally, when we think about Shonda and the powerhouse that she is, while you were mentioning ABC, she owned an entire day of the week over there on Thursdays. And so now yeah, yeah. it begs the question, exactly, TGIT, no, I think it was, right? There we go. I remember this. They had to play on it. And so with all of that in mind, Netflix has tried to see how they could drip content to have that reoccurring viewership. Is this something where you see they might potentially retest that strategy with some of the content from Shonda? 
You know, that's that's a really good point, Brad. I, I do think that's something that we could see Netflix test. I think at the end of the day, Netflix knows that content is king. Out of all the streaming platforms, even though we didn't see Netflix win all the awards at the Oscars, they have so much content that's available for so many different types of viewers. There really is something for the whole family. And I think because they have someone like Shonda Rhimes who can just hit that perfect note and get people on board and really create these bombshell productions why not create something like that why not experiment with different types of channels and i think as the streaming wars evolve we're going to see more experiments like that because you know we've already proven that this model works that people want to watch streaming giants so let's see how we can play with it a little bit so I, i'd be down for that i love tgit it was amazing i was a huge Grey's anatomy fan i wrote fan fiction when i was younger about Grey's anatomy and it's all because of shonda rhimes so thank you thank you shonda <laughs> Love it. Yahoo Finance's entertainment reporter, Ali Canal. Thank you so much for taking the time, Ali. Appreciate it. Everyone, minutes left in today's trading session. We're going to get you the key levels to track heading into the close after the break.